There was a lot of council estates, a lot of high rises, a lot of um, crime. I became free to just uh, pass through because I was a photographer. My aunt was the first one to give me or buy me a camera that I finally got from Kilburn, North West London, to being in, this, in a world stage as a photographer. One night, you can do anything to put your mind to. My name is Bruno Johnson, I'm a documentary photographer, and my photos have taken me from Kilburn, North West London, to the world. Growing up in Kilburn, there was a lot of council estates, a lot of high rises, a lot of, um, you say, crime going on, and a lot of tension between here and other areas. So you'd have to know how to keep yourself safe within this area, within this environment, to make sure that you can live to see another day and you're not caught up in some of the messes that happen. And by doing that, it'll be, for example, if someone was to follow you and you wanted to confirm they were following you without alerting that person, you'd use the puddles, um, the windows, the car windscreens, the car windows, the side mirrors, the lighting, all these things would be used to help you confirm whether or not you're in danger or not. And if you take that same mechanism and apply it to photography, it gives you a whole new view of the world. I wanted to go right back to the beginning. Can you remember like a moment when you were a young kid that you were like, that photography might have like flickered in your brain as like, I think I kind of want to do that. I was not interested in anything creative growing up. Nothing? No, art, photography, all of that kind of stuff. I used to look at it like, what is this one? Just focus. I was always focused on like academia. Like I'm from a maths background, studying maths at university. Photography only came about when I found out that there's mass in photography. There was a charity event that my friend was holding for an orphanage in Gambia. I was taking photos and I was seeing that there was a lot of calculations involved in what I was taking photos of. And I look back at them on the day, I say to myself, oh, if I'd only waited, um, if I'd only waited a couple more seconds, or maybe if I had continued um, to hold this shutter longer, maybe I would have got that photo perfect. I think we should address the fact that why we're here, like we're in your auntie's front room. Mm. Can you just explain why, what she means to you, what's the big deal? With um, basically, when I found out that photography was something that I wanted to take more seriously, my aunt was the first one to give me or buy me a camera. But that was obviously after she had a board meeting in the same room with my dad and my other aunties to decide whether or not it was something worth Going, going forward with. Um, after that, once I actually got into photography and started using the camera and everything, this same room was the room in which I would use the ceiling as my whiteboard to plan my next steps. On one of your posts, it says, from Kilburn to the world, full stop. Can you please explain what that's all about? It's basically me saying that I finally got from Kilburn, North West London, to being in, this, in a world stage as a photographer, where I'm known as a photographer and signed as a photographer to one of the biggest competitions or events in the world, which was the World Cup. There's a photo of you right up close to Messi again. Like, <laughs> that's like a million dollar shot. Like, is it? I mean, I'm into football, so it is to me. Are you into football? Yeah, big time. Or what team do you support? I'm a Chelsea fan. Oh, no, well, you're not into football. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> How can you say you're a football player to support Chelsea? Mate, I've been supporting them since I was born. <laughs> yeah, they're, my, they're my home team. <laughs> hey, cool. <laughs> Who do you support while we're here? Arsenal. Oh, you're not even into football yourself, like most Arsenal fans. Um, <laughs> you've really bugged me out there. Um, <laughs> you didn't go to photography school, do after classes. You just learned by doing. Yeah. Has that like, how's that like influenced the way you grew into a photographer professionally, full time? Personally, I think it was the best route for me. When I used to check out these type of courses, one, they were too expensive for me at the time. I didn't want to pay that kind of money. And two, it was always like this old, white, middle class photographer who his photos didn't really excite me. I was thinking, what is this guy going to teach me? 
Like, what does he know about where I'm coming from? What does he know about showing uh, the nitty gritty? Photography gave me like a pass to go to the east side of London, the south side of London, and even other parts of Northwest where uh, it's like a war zone between my area and their area. I became free to just uh, pass through because I was a photographer. How did that feel? It was, it was like I was finally free of the shackles that had held me down for so long because now I didn't, have to, I didn't need to explain um, who I was or what I was doing. It was now, oh, he's the cameraman. No one's bothering you. Do you know what I mean? Whereas before it was like, oh, where are you from? What are you doing here? Now it's, he's the cameraman, let him through. You're a photographer who uses a smartphone most of the time. What's the reason for that? Portability. Makes it super relatable to anyone who's watching because mm. they can just shoot. Yeah, you don't need the kit. No. Mm. I wish I didn't. I wish I knew I didn't need the kit. One of the entries to photography and probably videography was they told me I had to buy my camera. Do you know what I mean? And that's just like a wall because it's the wall. It's a financial wall. It's an economic wall that they lock out a lot of people. And it's not true because as you said, you don't need to. No, it's not true because when you go on set, <laughs> they're renting the gear. The number one photographer or the photographer who's been doing it for 30 years, his camera is rented. They deliver it on set, he shoots, he goes home. He never uses his own camera. Well, you've told me before that you have done a little bit of like, now mentoring with younger, younger kids. What do you tell them when you're teaching them? One night, you can do anything to put your mind to. You just have to have patience and perseverance. Brunel, from Kilburn to the world. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, man. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. My place. Thank you. Look, knowing what I know now, I wouldn't change anything except to feel more emotionally slow down. Life's a merry go round, but things ain't merry when you're going through the motions. Fulfillment lies in emotion, so why go through life unavailable? You're unfailable. This high that I've been on is incomparable. My purpose is learning how far spirit goes. I believe in me, so I gotta believe in miracles. Yeah.